In this video, I'm going to show you how to export video from your NVR system. You will want to use a FAT32 or NTFS flash drive. If you're not sure how to format those, we recommend that you Google how to format your flash drive for one of those formats. Most flash drives come in the FAT32 or XFAT uh, format, but you will want to make sure it's in a compatible format before you connect it to your NVR. In this video, we've already connected our flash drive. If you do connect your flash drive, it may come up with a flash drive or storage um, interface and you can just right click to get out of that and then follow our video. So connect the USB drive and then back out to your camera grid screen. Um, to get to playback you can right click and click the playback button. To export you could also go to the menu button and go to the backup page. Here And here you could search for files for different cameras based on different dates and times. If you're not sure about those, then you can, of course, click the exit button or right-click button to get back to this page. Right-click, go to playback, and then use the clipping tool. So down here at the bottom left-hand side of the playback interface, there is a clipping tool. I just have the first camera selected for this demonstration, and I'm going to click the start clipping tool. When I do this, it's going to bring up two kind of goal posts here. Uh, these are goal posts that I can move in between here, or sliders that I can move in between here to select what kind of video I want to export. I'm going to go back to yesterday since I know I have more video, so I'm just going to double click on the 8th. Here we can see there is much more video on the timeline here, and then I'm just going to use this slider to slide into about a one hour segment of video. Again, I can click the I can click and then click back on the clipping thing here. It's going to bring my sliders to this particular section of video. And just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to choose um, this little window of video here. So this is about a minute of video. I can click the stop clipping button again. It's going to save those kind of files to my file list here and then I can choose whichever one I want to export. So you can see it created a bunch of different files for the 9th, but I want this video file from the 8th. So as you saw, I used the clipping tool down here. I created about a one minute segment, and then I clicked the stop, the stop clipping button, and then it brought it into this new file folder here, and here we can see there is this file that I created. I can highlight this video clip, and then click the backup button. The backup button is going to bring up my USB here. I do have some other files on my USB. I could create a new folder and I'm going to name this folder called record. And then click OK. And I can use the scroll roll yeah. start. And then I can use the scroll bar here at the right hand side to scroll down and see that I have a record folder. I'm just going to double click to open this record folder. If your USB uh, stick does not have any files on it, you can of course save this to the root or base directory after you plug your flash drive in. But to stay organized on my flash drive, I did have to create that record folder by clicking the new folder button and naming the folder and then clicking OK. I could create another subfolder inside of here, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave this folder here. If the NVR gives you some sort of formatting issues or you want to format the drive and get rid of all the files that are already on it, you can click the format button. But if I just want to save this clip to this folder, I will click the backup button. So it's going to go ahead and process that video clip and uh, create it into a file format and then upload it to my thumb drive. Here you can see it set the file to a .mp04 file format, which is commonly used for things like Windows Media Player, VLC Media Player, could also be brought into video editing software uh, like uh, those from Adobe, uh, Camtasia, uh, and other video editing software, and then can be re-rendered for the police, or you could simply give this file to the police because it's already an MP4 format, and most people have like QuickTime or VLC Media Player, or like I mentioned, Windows Media Player to play this file back. We could also use the video retrieval page. This is shown in our, our playback screen. This is for if you, your employees, your spouse, or kids have, know there was a particular event at a particular time, um, then you could type in those and get that specific file for that specific time by typing that in here. We cover that in more detail in our playback video. 
to help you narrow it down to those events. So this is how you do it using the playback screen with the little clipping tool down here and the file management button here. And you can also load an external file by clicking the external file button, going to the folder where you played that file, and then playing that file from your flash drive. So you can also view those clips that you created from your NVR before, ex before taking your USB thumb drive out and, and giving that to someone for that video clip. As you can see in this video clip, we did happen to catch uh, this Ford truck in this trailer driving out of the, the parking lot, so that's pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to click the return button, or I can right-click to get back out of this menu, and then I'm going to right-click again. There is another place where you can do the backup, so we can go right-click and click the menu button here. Here there is a backup tab. Uh, again, as I showed you in the beginning of the video, this is more for uh, if you do have a specific date and time where you want to get a video file from. That's very much similar to the playback screen, and then when you type in that date and time and try to search for files based on that type. You can search for unlocked files, locked files, and of course all types of events. Uh, normal recording is your continuous 24-7 recording. Uh, manual you could, uh, is manual recording when you right-click and tell the camera to record a particular time and then finally event based recording usually relates to your motion and alarm type of events. Hopefully this video helped you figure out how to back up some video files to your NVR system. Uh, for this particular method you would just click the search button it would bring up a list of files. You would click on whichever file you wanted and then click up the backup button. You would want to click on that file that you want to export and click the backup button or you could click the backup all button and it would send all of these files to your USB thumb drive based on whichever folder that you select on your thumb drive. Again, hopefully this video helped. Thank you for watching.